morning guys i'm starting this video for you guys welcome everyone i have a little bit up i have about 40 no like 50 minutes up it's 7 48 right now um i got the kids up ready i forgot to you know videotape the, the clip or whatever but i just got up just trying to main my hair I'm trying to make sure it's not, i'm not looking crazy uh, just when i get back i'll be showering and getting ready for all that but i have to go drop off the kids right now to school and then i'm gonna get started with my day so just wanted to start off this video to let you guys know good morning this will be a morning routine video that's why i look a little bit crazy i don't look quick together because this is how my morning starts. I want it to be realistic, so come on guys, let's get started. We are heading out. Ah, I gotta trip off these kids. That's what I'm doing, guys. Let's go boys. Come on, Chanta. You ready for school? Yeah. Yeah? have a good day at school okay okay hey guys so i'm done dropping off the boys i'm about to exit the school i wanted to get that done because some people are just <sighs> some pe some parents just don't understand where it's the unloading and loading section i usually just make a line but people just park there and it's like, that is not a parking spot. That is unloading and loading section. There's huge signs that say that. I don't know why people don't understand that. It's like, ugh. so I just parked so I could drop off my kid because it's, it takes forever. People just don't get out of the line and do the proper thing. So yeah, I'm about to get my day started. Um, I'm about to get home, start cleaning up, and do all that. So that's what you guys will be seeing on the next clips. It is me getting started with the day, getting myself ready, and all that. So that is about it. And I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay guys, I'm back home. I look crazy, I know. But we're gonna get started this morning. I'm gonna give you guys a preview of how my house looks um, before I do anything and how everything looks so you guys can see what I have to deal with and what we have to do today in regards to cleaning and organizing because there's a lot to do. I know I won't get everything done today. I'll probably do the rest tomorrow. But now that my kids um, are fully in school i have no child at home which is a amazing feeling but also sad because i'm used to always somebody running around at home you know mommy this mommy that but i get a few hours of peace and quiet where i'm able to clean and organize peacefully as you guys have seen in previous videos i try not to show my kids too much on social media but they would pop in here and there um, when I would record videos of me cleaning. So they would show up, especially the little one, because he was the one at home. Um, but I'll show you guys what my house looks like right now. 
So to even start with, um, there's a crock right there. I have to fix the couches from where we were watching, you know, TV last night. I'm probably gonna have to clean the French doors, the TV and all that. Um, our library section is pretty clean. I just have to dust it. Um, nobody really goes um, in this section. Just me when I finish reading a book and I stuck up another book. Um, but here, um, just dusting the table, as you guys can see, kind of the dust right there. Um, that's pretty much it, dust this section. I have to water the plants, all the plants, so you guys will be doing that with me. The boys section, which is always the dirtiest section. There's food always on the floor. This is the part of the house that is always just a hot mess. And then over here, we have the kitchen. Um, I have to put wash dishes. Last night I was really tired. I just didn't have the energy anymore to do anything. Those are baked cookies, the handmade I left for the kids so it's reachable for them. So that's it right there. Sorry, you guys can hear my keys jingling. Oh, I did leave a cup there, which my husband would die if he see that. Um, I asked the boys to pick up their room, so most of their stuff is put away. I just need to organize them more. I need to do their beds, because there's still little to do their beds. Um, and I need to get started with laundry. And my office, I mean, my office is always pretty messy. I have a lot of paperwork for the people um, that don't know me and my husband own our own company. So um, I do a lot of paperwork here. There's a lot of junk here. Well, not junk, but just paperwork. Um, the guest room, I don't really think it has anything to do, but I'm going to get started here doing my bed and getting everything done here. And let's get started, guys. show you guys well maybe not in this video because this is a morning routine i'm trying to do it like a morning routine for you guys for this video but maybe i'll record today for our next video and there's some healthy options Oh. 
there's this writing salad. I have seen it that this girl had posted. And she got it from like this um, fitness guy that does fitness. I think he's like, um, what do you call it? Middle Eastern or something like that. And he's into healthy foods. So I want to try that out because I made some rice yesterday. With some tofu and I want to try it out. So. I'm going to be doing an avocado toast. Well, I'm not toasting it because I don't want it to be toasted. We're going to put some avocado on. don't want to put bacon, to be quite honest, so I'm just going to put some of these bacon bits. coffee my morning coffee to get started with this day so that's pretty much it Came in a five pack and I changed his colors. Cup. I'm not mistaken, this one looks like yellow, but I do up there. I only like 
like using the pyramid syrup with real uh, sugar because the other ones, don't, I don't know if you guys taste it, but I taste an artificial taste in it and I'm all out. I only have hazelnut and I have the vanilla one, but it's sugar free and I just do not like the way it tastes. told you guys I'm going through this weight loss journey with my husband and friends it's hard for me and my husband well for all of us for my friends as well one because we're Hispanic and boy do we love bambuza I'm used to cooking with pig lard, you know. Mantequita no puede faltar en la cocina. Especially in esos frijoles, so it's hard now. But we are giving it our all. be more cautious in the way I eat because I posted a, a TikTok video on my TikTok um, last week about um, I don't know if you guys seen Tiffany the Tiffany uh, plate review the lady that eats everything with mustard and cottage cheese and I tried it out I wanted to do the review and don't get me wrong it was good it's not for everybody because I know not everybody can eat cottage cheese and stuff like that. Like my husband, he's a very delicate eater. I'm not. So I know he, it, it might be a hit and miss for him. But I enjoyed it and it just, it sounded like I enjoyed it too much because the way I was smacking my lips was crazy. So I'm trying to be more cautious. I didn't even know I smacked my lips that much. And my husband told me, yeah, you always have. I just don't say anything. <laughs> so I told him, you need to let me know if I do that. Because that's embarrassing. Because <laughs> I always tell my kids it's annoying. So, what a hypocrite I am. So I was thinking right after this. be doing a quick workout a 30 minute workout <clears throat> and then I'll take a shower because I don't want to shower and then work out so do a quick workout um, shower and then um, get started with cleaning so I'm just gonna show you guys clips up here and there of what I do but once it hits like 11 30 I'll probably stop this video because that will be the end of my morning routine and then I'll get started with the next video of cleaning and all that
I haven't really done videos like this where I sit down and talk with you guys and stuff like that. Like a routine and stuff. So I want to know your guys' opinions. Do you guys like the style or do you guys like me to just put music and record and you guys can relax and watch? I do want to do a giveaway once I reach a thousand followers. I'm almost at 400. So when I hit a thousand uh, followers, I do want to do a little giveaway. Um, I was thinking of doing a giveaway of like a few of my favorite cleaning products, um, like a planner that I use and stuff like that that's helpful helpful for me um and I don't know I just want to put it together give me some idea guys what do you guys think <laughs> yesterday I posted a video <clears throat> of our trip to Albuquerque with my husband when we went to work with my husband. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love the video. It was so relaxing to me to watch after on um, how it turned out. And the part where we get to Williams, oh my god, guys, I fell in love with that city. Well, it's not even, it's not even a city. It's a little tiny town. Oh my god, if I could, I will pack my stuff and leave and go to that town. Oh my god, it's full of pine trees. Oh, it is so nice there. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Just mountains of pine trees. I always tell my husband I want to move somewhere where there's tons of trees, tons of trees. I'm tired of living in the desert. This heat is excruciating but you know what this year the heat <clears throat> where i live wasn't that bad actually it was bad for like like a week or two <clears throat> but after that it hasn't been really hot when i go down to like the valley area like san fernando area or like Riverside and all that, it, it feels hotter over there. It's crazy. I don't know if it's because it's dry air over here and it's like moist air over there. But it feels like it gets stuck to you. Finish my breakfast. I still have my coffee and protein, which I will be drinking throughout the next hour or two. So I'm going to get started with my workout. which I'm not gonna be showing you guys my workout. All I do is I either just do a certain amount of reps of something, like squats. If not, if I feel too lazy to do that, then I do like a dance routine. I just YouTube it. I love to dance, so I do a 30 minute dance uh, workout. About it. I think that's the one I'm gonna do today and then shower and then I'll be back guys so see you guys in a little bit
working out. Um, I'm all out of breath. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys a quick summary of my workout on my on my watch. <coughs> so you guys can see. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm about to shower, show you guys really, really quickly the my summary of my workout. Ooh, my glasses are foggy. Look how hot I am. Shower and I'll be back. That is what it's looking like, guys. Um, it's hard to show you guys with while I'm holding the phone, but I danced for 20 minutes and those are the calories I lost. So good workout. I could only do 20 minutes today. So the shower and I'll see you guys back. Okay guys, I am out of the shower. I'm just gonna prep my hair to air dry and get some skincare. During the week all night, I usually, if I don't wear makeup, then um, the only makeup I wear is like some eyeliner, mascara, and do my eyebrows. I try to keep my face as clean as possible. During the weekend, I'll put some foundation and stuff like that, but I wear light foundation anyways. So. A lot of my hair falls, Ugh, I'm taking vitamins. I'm anemic. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. No matter what the hell I take, my anemia just doesn't want to get any better. You can see. And a little bit fell in the shower after when I was taking a shower. Usually in the shower, I have a little bit but lately it's actually been getting I mean, I can't complain. It's been getting better. Just putting some leave-in conditioners, some curl creams, because I have curly hair naturally. And I also dyed my hair. I did some highlights on myself, and I did these two patches on the sides, which I'm gonna get rid of this Friday. My husband did not like them at all. <laughs> so, um, I wasn't gonna do these pink patches. Uh, they're not even pink, they're like, I they were like burgundy. Um, pero se me pegó la loquera to do it. I'm not healing it either that much. So I'm just gonna do it like kinda like the colors. That, I don't know if you guys see kinda like the highlights that are around here. My hair's too dark. I wanna try to go like a like a light no like a light medium uh, brown. Um with a few highlights. Not like an ashy brown. We'll see. I'm not a beautician or anything, but um, I used to dye my hair when I was younger because I did go to beauty school. I just never finished it. It wasn't my thing to become a cosmetologist. But I did when I did my training. I did learn how to do the highlights and all that. I used to do it for my sisters and all that, but. It's hard for me to do it on myself. And I, since I have, um, where's it going? Arthritis in my hands, it hurts. It hurts really bad. I don't know if I have told you guys previously, but I've been getting a lot of brain fog lately. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm gonna be taking some, I'm trying to do a healthier, of course diet but um at sprouts they have a lot of good um natural uh, herbal medicine so i'm gonna try getting some it's just it's pretty it's pretty the price is pretty up there for the vitamins and supplements you gotta take so
we will see what I choose to help me with my brain. I did see some as sounds and stuff. I think it's like, um, I forgot what it's called, Neo, neural something, I don't know, but it's to help the brain. Okay. And guys, my birthday's coming up, it's this Thursday. August the 31st. Um, I am turning 32. My husband is convinced I'm turning 33, but I know I'm turning 32 because I was born in 91. So 20, 21, I, was, I had just turned 30. 22 is 31. 23 of course I'm saying 32 but he is convinced that I'm turning 33 he is five years and something months older than me he just wants me to be old like him but here guys I am done prepping my hair. I'm gonna go to the office, do my skincare, because my office is my office slash beauty room, slash nail room. I do it, like all my personal stuff in there. So let's go. Okay guys, let's get some skincare on. I try to take care of my face as much as I can. I'm not trying to look 50 or 61 on 40, so. I'm moisturizing my face with some Mario disc water. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I think she's Cuban. This girl that she like spritz her face and gets it wet before she puts on anything else so I will be using this Belief Beauty um, hydrating gel cream I actually got it at my Dollar General and it is actually really good for being I think it was like four five dollars I'm getting stuff from my fridge. Got the little beauty fridge. To keep like my retinol cold and some beauty skincare cold. Oops. So need some retinol because ain't nobody wants some wrinkles. I'm also trying to take care of my husband's skin because and lighter skinned people need to really take care of their skin since I am brown it's, it's not harder it's just like when I go in the sun I just get dark that's it I don't I never get sunburned I think there was only one time when I was like 14 that I got sunburned and I had gone on a school field trip to Catalina Island and we stayed in the ocean all day scuba diving and not scuba diving snorkeling sorry so after I put the Or is it? I don't even think it's right now. Hold on. No, it's the. Sorry, it's not right now. It's um, hyaluronic acid or acid or something like that. Sorry, I'll show you guys right now. Okay. 
tell you guys this brain fog you see brain fog is crazy so you guys can hear me better and I don't have to be screaming so you guys can hear me oh before I put this in let me show you guys what I put studio makeup so. and then I'll be putting this little recipe avocado melt retinol eye cream so. And that's pretty much my skincare. It's like, no, it's not. I forgot. I've actually been using this um, by Dime. It's an eyelash boost serum. I just bring this closer so you guys can see. Okay. All I really do is just. I try to put it morning and night if I can, but for the most part is when I do my skincare in the morning. Stash, so I'm not, I'm not sure you guys that. My Cantin Plus is out. Okay. Oh, I need to go trim my nose hairs. They're looking a little crazy. And the lash serum, I know it's working because I have brand new like lashes coming here. I see little baby ones that are new. And I have a bad habit when I have mascara on. Well, not right now, but before that I like picking my mascara off. Like once is evening area. Evening area. Once is evening time. Evening time. I start picking at it because I know I'm about to take off my makeup. So, really quickly, Oops. I need my eyeliner pen, my eyebrow, and mascara. That is, that is all I'm going to be doing. Okay, you guys should be able to see me there. I'm just going to do a little wing. Oh, 
Maxine brown liner. And I got my makeup is done. I'm just gonna put some gloss on. That is it. And that is it, guys. I'm gonna let my hair and air dry. I try to just. Just do a little bit so I don't look like a chimotrupia. And now I'm gonna get some work done, which I'll be videotaping myself real quick. It should be almost I don't have my watch. It should be almost lunchtime after that. So after I work a little bit, the video will be over, and that's basically what I do in my mornings. Um, it varies sometimes, but for the most part, that's what they are. I forgot to put on some perfume. Right now I've been wearing some like fresh scents. Like this one is Creed and this one is Adventus, Adventus for her. What is it? I wanna buy the big bottle because I love this. So good. I have a Creed, but I have the the uh, I'll show you guys the Love and White or White and Love, something like that. But that one is more like springtime. You can even put it off for fall. No, I think it's more fall. Yeah, this is more fall. So this one, I love this one. The other, the other one I showed you guys is more fresh for like summer. It's still summer. I want it to be fall already. Fall needs to hurry up. I try to read at least a chapter or two in the morning 
just to get my you know brain focus or whatever um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now I am currently reading the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, this book um, I heard great reviews it's actually been really hard for me to get into this book um I still haven't gotten into it like that so um, we'll see I'm like halfway through I like reading the what is it called Colleen Hoover I really like her books I've read a few of them so I'm gonna be reading just a little bit of um, this and that's gonna be pretty much it for my morning routine um, sometimes it varies sometimes it's different because sometimes I get I don't work out right and I get right away to um, cleaning depending on the day um, especially if my kids get home early if it's an early day out then um, I get to cleaning right away um, so yeah but for the most part this is what I do in my mornings i hope you guys enjoyed following me around you guys will just see the last clip of me reading and thank you very much to everybody at mi gente um thank you for the new people the um returning people who stay in my channel like i said i'm gonna try and work out a giveaway hopefully once we reach uh, 1000 followers i'm trying to reach in by the end of this year um, and I will give more details on how to enter that giveaway once it gets closer to a thousand followers. So let's try to get this up. Follow me guys. Thank you so much.